Hey everyone, I'm Steve. I'm with EnviroSafe. I'm the project manager as well as the inspector for the fuel tanks across the state of Florida. In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview on anchoring a fuel tank to a slab. Now, in accordance with NFPA 30, all tanks have to be anchored in some fashion, whether it be for wind resistance or for flood zones. If it's flood, if it's flood zones, NFPA 30, Chapter 22, Section 14 states that your fuel tank must be anchored. Now, in reference to our tanks, on our spec sheet, it states that there is an engineered hurricane tie down. That tie down is the hole that's on the saddle on the floor. Real quick, we're going to show you how to use this concrete wedge anchor to anchor this tank in accordance with NFPA 30. So here's the engineered hurricane tie down. This concrete wedge anchor is going to go in the tie down using a concrete drill, drill bit. We use 3 quarter by 6 inch anchors. Now I cannot stress enough. When you do an installation in your area, please verify with your local authorities that have jurisdiction on exactly what they require because it's different in not only every state, but in every county. We have ours engineered specifically and designed so that way this tank, based on the flood zones in Florida and the hurricane wind calcs, that a 3 quarter by 6 will hold this tank. It's different for every tank and every type of soil. So please verify. So after you drill your hole in the concrete, you're going to put the concrete wedge anchor in there, hammer it down with a sledgehammer. The hammer doesn't really matter, but a sledge is easiest because it's heavy. Be careful not to hit the tank when you're hammering because it's going to be a close proximity. When you smash it all the way down, the, the engineered saddle will be here. Tighten the nut down. As you tighten the nut down, the wedge anchor is going to rise. As the wedge anchor rises, this little wedge will actually spread apart going down. That's what solidifies the anchor into the concrete when you have the 3000 PSI concrete and then you get the rebar, but speak with your engineers, speak with your fire marshals, find out what you need. This was just a real quick overview on how to do it and what to expect when you get your tank. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to call 800-555-4754. Thanks for choosing EnviroSafe.